congratulations on the launch of the new game. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Before we get into that, man, I want I hear Bonic Buzz. We're all about people's passion. Tell us your passion for creating uh, video games and animation kind of came from. Oh, <laughs> since, dude, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, my that's all I wanted to be for him since the beginning. I just wanted to make, to create uh, 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 stuff. Um, my first, my first uh, connection with animation was with Fantasia. Uh, I remember my, a friend of my mother came to, uh, to bring the, the VHS and I was like so amazed watching Mickey Mouse, like uh, doing magic with water and, and everything. And, and, and I couldn't believe it. The next scene I remember was watching the Batman, the animated series. Uh, classic in the 90s right? yeah man as soon as i saw the credits that's when my mind connected that people were actually doing this you know <laughs> <laughs> so i was like hey i can be one of those people <laughs> oh that's so, awesome yeah but from that moment and the rest of my life i just wanted to be uh what i'm doing right now i wanted to create do animation uh, and, and entertain uh everybody because that's what uh, the movies does this uh, entertaining. Uh, that's what video games does. It's like take you away a little bit from your reality and take you to this magical place so you can spend a little bit of more uh, of time to to live in this fantasy. <laughs> very cool. Well, before we get into game, can you mind giving me some background on Gladys Studios? Uh, I know you're a very animation studio in the Puerto uh, Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, yeah. Gladys Gladys is a, a studio that we do a little bit of every game. Uh, we do uh, uh, animation, we do visual reality, augmented reality, video games, movies, like everything with, uh, that has to do with entertainment. Uh, that's what we do. Um, we are creating a TV series called Slimies. Uh, cool. and we're also making a movie called uh, Phantom Bill. And now we're making this video game it's called Ese Pobre Le Chão. <laughs> yeah. yeah in english is that poor little pig that poor, yeah <laughs> i'm dyslexic i'm not even gonna attempt to try to pronounce that but yeah, a, that poor pig, pig. yeah i, I poor love pig, the, yeah. the the look in this man so basically describe the game it's just you're basically playing as this pig like sliding left to right right you well know? there's a there's a there's a classic um latin folklore song it's about a pig because we 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 rusted the pig in in in, in this Latin community in more in Puerto Rico, we put that this is not the game guys this is the, the, the this song is the okay but this is the song the song actually put the the pig in the in the, in a steak and uh, you <laughs> roast it. you roast it slowly like for hours and hours and hours and then you 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 make rice and 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 everybody's eating the the, the skin and the, and the and everything so. There's a song about it, and it, the song is called "Ese Pobre Lechon." That's that little pig, that uh, that poor pig. Uh, and and the idea came from that. It's like, hey, how, how that's perfect. I'm just gonna make a, a runner game about this pig who's running away from his destiny. <laughs> you know, in the White House, they save uh, turkey every yeah, year. Yeah, they party one every year. <laughs> yeah, so so it's kind of like the base. The same thing is like, hey, let's save. Let's save this pork. <laughs> Let's save this pig. And uh, I just run with it. So the the difference we have here, uh, because there's a lot of runner games in the in the App Store and in Google oh, Play. But, uh, but I I wanted to do something different. Also, in the in the Latinx culture, uh, we do something that is called parranda, and that's kind of like a. It's kind of like the the like the jingle bells uh, in the United States that people get together and sing to different houses. But the difference here in Puerto Rico is like you you go in a surprise. Like I can I go with you and and we plan it. You 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 have a like a guitar and probably have some bongos. And I go to my neighbor and then we 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 at two or three in the morning. And we knock the door and we start singing, singing, singing until he wakes up. And then he bring another instrument. And then we go to another place. And oh, then we do God. that until we have like a bunch of people. And that's oh, dude, that sounds like fun. I mean, probably not it, down the pandemic, but yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, basically we do that, and and that's what you do in the in the in the video game, in the oh, mobile cool. game. Sorry. So you collect instruments. For more that you're running, you collect more instruments, so you can hear 
the the music getting uh, like uh, completed. Oh, somebody collect that more. instrument. That that instrument's noise uh, or sound, I guess, gets added to the music, right? Exactly. So it's oh, a, that's it's so a cool. <laughs> Thank you. It's a music generated runner game. So that's the difference of a, in any other uh, runner game right now. <laughs> mm. So uh, so yeah, uh, it's that's it's fun. really fun. And uh, the purple is like. Like you said, we are in a COVID pandemic situation, uh, but I just wanted to give uh, everybody an opportunity to keep thinking of of a parranda, okay? Thinking of of the of the of what you have uh, during these holidays and just have it in your phone. So oh, <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. what I love about video games. It's just an escape for me. It's, I. Thank God for technology, but since we're all kind of in lockdown, it's almost this whole year now. Because like yeah, yeah. now we got the Zoom, we can you and I can connect, and interview, but just video games and playing online, you know, and it's great now <laughs> that we have it on our phone. I mean, I'm, back in the day, I had the giant Game Boy that wasn't even in color, you know. Yeah, and before that, you need to go to a place to get some quarters and just put it there to play yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, I That's remember, but. But yeah, I'm with you. It's fantastic that the technology today, we can uh, uh, celebrate that. <laughs> yeah, thank God. So, uh, well, cool is, uh, I know you had a thing where the first 500 people downloaded got to receive a special something in it. Is that still going on or did we- Yeah, actually uh, it's really fun because we, I thought this is my plan. My plan was like, okay, we're gonna marketing for three months and, and our goal is to be, it's to, in our third month have like 5,000 people playing it. That's our, like my, my, my goal. But the first two days we, there were 2,000 people downloaded it. Wow. <laughs> so, that's a congratulations. That's thank awesome. You. <laughs> thank you. So uh, I said, you know what? It's Christmas. Let's give the golden lesson. Uh, to- Merry it- Christmas, everybody. Yeah, I- I'm happy, man. And not only that, if you download it, you also will receive 1,000 uh, coins so you can spend it in whatever you want. <laughs> oh, very cool. So what, are, yeah, what yeah. kind of upgrades can you do in the game then if you can spend the money on? Well, oh, right now you can, you can uh, uh, the, the pig, you can buy some skins. Like, for example, you can buy him the, the, the COVID uh, mask so uh, he can go outside and and don't <laughs> get sick. even has a mask that's awesome <laughs> yeah we have right now uh like a like a hibarito skin and we have the christmas the santa claus uh pig uh hat i'm sorry for the pig mm-hmm. we also uh you can you can also play versus games uh, versus your friends like you have a a, a a leaderboard for between you and your friend and we have a global leaderboard with everybody and in your profile you can you can out- upload some avatars so we're selling we're giving some avatars as well um yeah, there's also some power-ups uh you can the, the pig can go on top of the cow the cow will go really fast <laughs> and that's a power up and and also the another power up we have is the the chicken and actually the chicken is kind of like a is for a short moment it plays a little bit like Flappy Bird that you have to tap so you can go to the to oh, the gotcha. side and yeah. get more plantain. So because the coin over here is our plantain. Uh, in Puerto Rico, we collect those tones. And, um, and for the more you collect, the more you have to, to keep playing or to buy and to dress the, the pig, whatever you want, however you want. I love yeah. that. Well, I want to get a little technical before I let you go because I, I used to do I used to have my own animated web series. I, I yeah. did animation and flash. Uh, what's the difference between doing animation for video games and compared to uh, just regular like animated series or something? You know? Well, um, it's it's the same process. Uh, okay. The only difference is the is the in animation at the end you render, <laughs> but in here we pro- program it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, but it's the same process. We actually all the animation is frame by frame. Uh, we animated 24 frames per second uh, for every detail of the of the pig. So that's something because I have an animation background and uh, I love the, the the animation industry. I wanted that the game look and feel like something beautiful that you're watching in a television. Oh, that's what I love about this. You know, it really yeah. looks like it's made from like an animated series. You know? Yeah. So so to go really technical, we actually the we 
we animated in a in Tumboon Harmony. Okay. That's the program we we use, and then we uh, uploaded in PNG files. So, oh, so then you oh, okay, and then you put it in frame by frame, and then dang. Exactly. Wow. So the, all those PNG files, we put it in the program in the in a, in a sheets in a sprite sheets for the for real because we're making the the this animated uh, mobile game. We we are pulling. We're doing it with Unreal, so uh, with Unreal Engine, and it's funny because uh, when uh, when we start doing it, the engine is for 3D, but we're actually doing something in 2D for the for the engine, and uh, and they contact us and they're really happy and try to help us as soon as uh, as as possible. Like it's uh -huh. really cool for them. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if oh. you have any more question technical like this is time man. yeah i'm gonna hit you up I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited like this is really fun uh i'm very grateful for 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 the opportunity to 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 talk about the game like we're really happy we've been working for the game for from january uh this year so it's been a whole year working on it <laughs> wow very cool well, congratulations on that uh anything in the, else in the works are you allowed to talk about before i let you go well, I, I just want to add something also that the music of this reel is the is actual music. We went to a we, to a, a sound station. We we guess uh, some people uh, with with the guitar, with with the cuatro, with congo, maraca, and everything. And uh, so every time you play the game, you feel different because the game had a little bit of uh, if you pass from from one part of Pacific. You can see, feel, and hear the game more like a bachata or merengue or maybe underground uh, 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 reggaeton vibe <laughs> yeah, for the game. So that's that's really cool that that, that we're adding in the game. Yeah, uh, so you that. can. I love music and animation. That's so cool. You guys yeah. invited all. You know, if you play with the with uh, with headphones, oh, it's another experience, man. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah any, listen to vinyl, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> any other the, the the other thing that we're working right now is we want to add more stuff to the game. We mm -hmm. we're planning uh, to add in a lot of more skins, uh, more levels. I mean, uh, to for the it's an endless runner game, so it's not. Don't think about a level that you finish. It's more that you can see and feel and play it in the game as you run uh so yeah we're planning a lot of stuff with the game and 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 uh it, it will be really fun <laughs> oh sweet yeah, well yeah. and uh so it's available in the app store for um yeah uh for now it's available in the app store uh we're actually uh crossing our fingers for android to to say yes already uh it's been it's been really difficult because uh, because of all the COVID, uh, everything is a little bit slower. Oh yeah. Uh, but they usually answer twenty four in, in between a, a lapse of twenty four hours. But for example, for the ads right now uh, in iPhones, they they say it's forty eight hours for probably two weeks for you to. So right now we uh, everybody can download it in iPhones in Android hopefully. Uh, by the end of this week, it will be up and running, and uh, and next time I talk to you, you can probably play it really good in your in Android. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. All right, we can go to Gladys.pr where you can get all the information. You see the trailer and get all the latest news, and uh, hopefully you'll find out when it'll be available for Android. Hopefully soon. And uh, anything else in the works you want to talk about before I let you go? Well, yeah, we're actually working on a TV series called Slimies. Uh, it's about uh, this little girl who loves to make slimes, and uh, her creativity would take her to, to another level. Slimies is a 2D compared with, uh, with live action, so every time she's making the process, the slime is a live action recording, and the rest is uh, 2D animation. It's really beautiful. Uh, people are loving it so far, uh, and that's something that we're working on right now. And also, the movie is called Phantomville, and it's uh, about this kid. Uh, his name is Luca, who befriends some ghosts and let them uh, achieve their unfinished business. It's oh. really fun, really, really colorful and fun, and and uh, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, I can't wait to talk to you down the road when uh, future projects like this and anything else you got working on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the game, man. Thank you very much. And uh, and, uh, I hope you can beat me in the score. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I'm going to (laughs) try. And I hope one day we can do the thing we go door to door. I used to play drums, so. Oh, I cool. play the Congos, you know. Dude, yeah, definitely. Yeah, come come to visit me. That sounds, me. That sounds yeah. like fun. <laughs> it is really fun. It is really fun. Thank you very much for, for your time and uh and your questions. I All appreciate right, it.